Hi and welcome to another episode. Well, this is the most zoomed out I've ever been, I think, on this little channel of mine. But Flight Rudder Pedals by Logitech G. G for gaming. Uh, professional rudder pedals with toe brake simulation controller. And what have we got on this side? This thing has got some weight to it. I've got to be careful because I don't want to break it. Flight rudder pedals. The cello tape that's running all the way around, by the way, which it's not going to make anything structural sound because it doesn't meet, um, is Amazon's little trick, it seems. So if you're planning on getting this, um, I recommend getting it in the cardboard box. If you know if you're going to get it as a present or something like that. The shipping label was all across the front, but I used some Gooby Gone and, and that's got rid of the stickers. But anyway, we've got English, French and German. Uh, technical specifications, compatible with major flight simulators, flying games, non-slip materials help keep the pedals on the floor during virtual flight. Well, did it take off as well? Right. Three stage adjustable pedal length, independent brake axes, heel rest extension included, eight point clamping for secure mounting, physical specifications. Oh, rudder pedals, not including the heel rests. Length 31 centimeters or 12.2 inches, width 40.3 centimeters or 15.9 inches, height is 16.8 centimeters or 6.6 .6 inches, and the weight without the heel rests is 2,350 grams or 82.9 ounces. So take that as you will. Um, and then across the bottom, which I don't particularly want to turn upside down, it just pretty much says what's in the box. It says flight rudder pedals, foot rest extensions, use the documentation, and you get two years manufacturing guarantee and full product support. Custom programming and settings require software available for download at um, support colon logitech.com. Well, is that really going to work? I doubt it. Um, and then it says it all again in many different languages. And then it also points out that it works in Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 8, Windows 7. Um, you need internet access for the downloadable program or software. And it was originally made in 2017. So actually in the realms of things, this is three years old already. Now, as you can see, I haven't opened it. And the reason why I haven't opened it yet, well, this is my Christmas present for my loving wife because those who have been watching the channel will know I like my flight sims. Um, I already have the Logitech, uh, what is it, the X56 HOTAS, um, which is a nice joystick to be using. Um, I might get a yoke one day, but you know, slow steps, baby steps, but anyway. And I realize we're nowhere near Christmas. We're not talking about Christmas, are we? It's annoying that shops do it already. No, what we're doing is that these keep going in and out of stock, and I happen to notice that they had some in. They had six in Amazon. They had not third-party sellers, but six themselves. And so I got my wife to jump on it and uh, buy them straight away. Now she says I can test it and make a episode out of it, but then they have to get packed away and put away until Christmas. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to test them. Now, I'm not going to do any funny shots of where you can see my feet using them and things because basically I just haven't got the space or, you know, messing around putting up another camera or something like that to film my, um, well, feet pressing down the pedals. I think we ought to know what pedals look like. So let's just get in, see what's in here and uh, I'll go from there really. I will test them and tell you how I feel about them. But of course, it's all down to personal opinion. But I'm going to do a jump shot now because I need to stand up and take all this out with all the wonderful rustling. So let's jump to that. Well, one little tip to <laughs> unboxing, because you can see I still haven't done it, is the little flaps at the side. Stick your hand inside and push them outwards because these egg cup type cartons as coming out get stuck if you leave them flapping inwards. So flap them outwards on both sides. And then have another go. Well, actually, you should be able to just do it straight away now because I've just told you. Okay, so now we've got that set up. We're still zoomed out quite a bit and everything, but um, yeah, that took a little bit of doing. Um, it's heavy. These uh, extra long feet thingy rests 
um, come bouncing on out if you're not too careful. So I highly recommend you actually unbox this on the floor because there's less distance for stuff to fall and if it falls it probably land um, on a carpeted floor for most people but um, you know open it up on above your bed maybe even um, on the sofa just to make sure that uh, things don't go bashing around one of these fell out and started to want to hit things so I want to make sure that uh, you don't go through the same sort of problem now these just got little pegs and these fall into the holes that are here um, there's no screws or anything like that they just you put them in a bit of an angle and they fall into place that's that one and then you've got adjustable length of your feet so you press push because it actually says push on these little silver bits you press it down and it will pop into the next one and if you've got even longer feet it goes that distance I mean how long is that um, I know it said uh, measurements but let's see how far your feet could hang out before doing it uh, where are we we're at 26 centimeters or just over 10 inches um you know if your foot was like healed all the way back which is going to be uncomfy if you did that so you know whatever that distance is for your foot probably be wearing shoes or slippers anyway um I wouldn't recommend doing this in your socked feet. Um, probably feel a bit uncomfortable after a while, unless you want a very strange foot massage. <laughs> um, really, that's about it on the, the length of things. Um, for the brake, there seems to be a fair bit of resistance. This tension isn't for the brake, that's just the springs that are already in there. Obviously you can uh, well, put the, the brakes on for your, your plane. So that seems like a good way of doing that. And then the tension wheel here in the middle, at the moment it's completely slacked off and you can tighten it up, which is quite a distance to go all the way around. Click, click, click. And there we go, it's full tension now. But for that, that is to make the rudder go backwards and forwards, which I can't really do because otherwise I'm gonna hit the TV there. Let's push it back a bit. There we go, there's the distance within your rudders and you can see the little tension wheel moving backwards and forwards and you can I realize I'm using my hands and not my feet but you really can feel a center point before you've got just enough tension to actually start shifting again so maybe not full tension I think what this really is for is to give you an idea of where you want the tension to start off with that's kind of sticks out like a sore thumb but for over a period of use the spring is going to wear out it's the nature of things but this gives you a chance to bring back a bit of that tension so I wouldn't have it at full tension anyway from first use I'd start off on the, the slackest way of uh, it on the tension and then feel if that's a bit too slack or not and then bring it up a bit you know give you an idea of it would have been nice if there was like a little marker and you could have gone well I've, I've moved it from there to there but you know give yourself like a visual center down the middle and say start off like that maybe and then you know push it across one notch and then another one and so on and so forth that's what the way that i'm going to do it anyway um seems to be that there's a little green led to show you power some people might already know that SciTech used to uh, make this many moons ago but uh, as as those same people probably already know um, Logitech bought out SciTech so there's actually a lot of SciTech stuff for the flight and everything that uh, Logitech put on the, their flag now which is fair enough they bought them out they're allowed to do that but basically it's the same um, tech just it's got their logo on it now you also get in the box um, laughably some instructions flight with the pedals Step one, stick it in a USB port. So, you know, just a normal USB port. Um, download the software, which you can get. Which is funny, because they tell you to download the software, which really you might want to go get from the Logitech, slash, sorry, logitech.com slash support slash rudder hyphen pedals. They might want to give you that first before they tell you to download the, the, the drivers. I can just tell you in English, but um, I think it's so that 
you know, no matter what language you speak, you understand what you're supposed to be doing. And then there's the important safety, compliance, and warranty information, which of course absolutely nobody reads, but pretty much look after it. Um, you also get two strips of Velcro. Um, you know, the, the spiky side and the soft side. There's a spiky side and then the soft side. Um, what you're supposed to do with these is stick it on the on the base, which will flip over. Let's make the pedals a bit smaller just to make it easier for me. And take off the extra footrest, which is down to preference if you want to have extra footrests or not. Because I'm not really too sure why they would be put on that side. I'm sort of thinking they would be more useful at the other end, actually. Thinking about it now, I think. Probably better putting it the other side because you're pushing down that way, and there's a few little extra rubber feet on the bottom of them because there is rubber feet on the bottom of here. I'm not going to rest this properly because I don't want to ruin the springs, but on the bottom, you can see you've got this area here. Um, I think the idea is is that you stick, or well, maybe the soft side, onto the base so that it rubs up against your carpet so that it doesn't go everywhere. Um, if you're going to be doing that though, I would recommend you get yourself like a, a doormat or something like that. Um, and then stick these on there if it's still moving around. Um, because the one thing you don't want to be doing is ruining your carpet. And if you've got hard floors, I don't think you're going to want to stick the other side of the, the strip on your hard floor either. Um, but the option is there nonetheless. So there's a long one there and a little one there. There's some rubber feet. Um, well, we've got rubber feet there, 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 and there, and then we've got it mirrored across the other side. So there's a fair bit. It all comes down to what kind of floor you've got on what you're going to be doing. Just using the the rubber, which might be fine if you've got hard floors, but if you've got carpet like me, um, trying to make it stop slipping around is probably an idea. It depends on how big your feet and how strong you are, I suppose, when it comes to uh, pushing backwards and forwards on them. But anyway, I'm going to test them now and see uh, what I feel about them. Okay, so after about 30 minutes playing Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, what do I think of it? Well, there's your green light for starters. It does definitely work. It's nice to know that that's there because if you are plugging it in around the back of your computer and stuff, you might forget, have you or haven't you plugged it in? Nice little indication that you have. Um, tension wise, I would start off with it being minus. That that sort of feels nice for me at least. As I say, I would just use this tension wheel for when it gets older and older through the years and obviously it depends on how much you've been using it and you can tighten up the spring a little bit more. Um, the other side of it is, yeah, from a novice's point of view, it's definitely a game changer even when comparing it to my x56 joystick which i realize maybe not super novice but it's different being able to you know make the plane go left and right using the the rudder of the the plane um the resistance on it is just about right um for feeling that you're doing something for those people that are experts when it comes to flying cessnas or you know airbuses or whatever um yeah by all means, your comments are a lot higher and approved of mine. But from a novice's point of view, who just is sort of coming from a gamer's point of view of it, um, yeah, it's a big difference. There is a little bit of a annoying resistance here in the center, but for all I know, that's what's really there in a the real plane. Um, the toe brakes are independent, which is really, really nice, of course. Um, that does come in handy when you're coming to land and, you know, you can... Uh, well, put the brakes on with your feet. The sliding around in the carpet, I've got quite smooth um, carpet and it does move around an awful lot. So when it comes to Christmas time, I'm definitely going to be sticking it on a dedicated mat to help it stop being uh, so slippy. And it's amazing. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on at all and it starts to move. It might be different if you've got laminated or wooden floors with the little um, rubber feet that they have. Uh, but yeah. On carpet it does move around but within Microsoft Flight Simulator at least it's a big difference for me when it comes into landing I can put you know toe brakes on instead of having to reach for some button um, and steering it as well when you landed it's nice to be able to do that 
you just needed quite a bit of space underneath your desk. So any desks that have a bar running across where you would normally rest your feet might want to be able to sit back further back from there because otherwise you might get it that it sits and it's perfectly fine here but then of course when you press down for the, the, the toe brakes you're going to be banging into it and if you're pushing backwards and forwards which you're going to have to do of course that suddenly means there's actually quite a bit more there but these parts um yeah the, these strange extra feet bits i'm not so sure they really needed because if you've got your feet on here you're going to be flying i suppose it gives you some place to put your feet when you want to relax a little bit but it's going to really be just like the balls of your feet it's not going to be your whole foot unless you've got particularly tiny feet um i don't really know if it's any use or not personal preference yeah I would really, if you've got the cash and you can get yourself on some of these and you want to be that little step up from novice, maybe even starting to reach um, amateur, I would go for these as a, a nice little cheapest set of uh, rudders because obviously there is even more expensive things out there that cost like £500. Uh, pick these up for just over £100. They're coming back into stock in Amazon UK again soon, they advise on their website. So... Hopefully you can get your set yourself before Christmas. As always, happy gaming.